Hi, Trey hello and welcome back. I'm going to do an ASX update because when I do, well, the end of week ASX update. Now, the reason why I do this is because um, it gets a little congested on Saturdays when I put up, I'm just going to bring that webcam down. The, I put up a, a US equities, I put up Forex, I put up ASX, I put up trading ideas. It just gets all jumbled. So what I'm going to do today is, well, tonight it's uh, 8.12 in the evening, is I'm going to go through uh, the portfolio. And a lot of it is red, you know, and that's that. So um, ABB has actually recovered quite nicely. That got down to, you know what, that got down to low 180s. So that's up pretty nicely. That was up pretty nicely today. AR9. That's what that is. Bendigo Bank, that's been a nice little performer. I explained my trade thesis on that with uh, RBA encouraging stimulus. And, you know, it, it was very strong when I got into it. Ideally, actually, I don't like to do that, but it just continued to hold and it's not really gone anywhere but up. Um, Credit Clear, you know, this is a speculative place. So AR9 is all speculative. Credit Clear, uh, Doe, I actually have. Um, you know, some conviction there still. EM1, I do hold EM1 that is still suspended and, you know, might be delisted. Who knows? We'll see. I really don't mind about that. I, I got in. That was an impulsive trade. We were discussing it in the chat. So, you know, I'm showing everything here, guys. I'm not really uh, holding back at all. So, um, EMN, I'm in that. Um, that pulled back from, from 60 and is, you know, it is what it is. I'm in that $5,000 worth. FMG as well. That's actually been a nice move. That at one point was down at 1530 and that was a trend trade. So I got in at 1777. That's $20,000 position there as well. So that's, and that's how it's going. So, you know, I got in uh, early August on that one. IOU and added a little bit as well. IOU, that's what that's doing. You know, it is what it is. Um, Ooh, media that actually got up to the high 177. I think it, the high was 177. So that's still been chugging along, and I'm going to keep that. That's been a nice little trade. Um, RLG, uh, a little disappointing, but you know, again, it is what it is. Telstra, not great news um, with some high pressure sale tactics, and it sounds like they're going to be in a little bit of trouble, but I hold that. And, you know, I hold that, so that's the end of the discussion, really. I'm, I'm happy with that still. And then Zip, Zip's actually, you know, a pretty large position, $7,500, so um, it's the third largest. So I've got FMG and then CSL is, and that actually cooled off quite a little bit, CSL. They got to the mid-teens, so 315, maybe 313. I think 313 was the high, so um, that's snap. But yeah, that is the uh, portfolio for the ASX. I no, I won't. I'll wait to update the international uh, portfolio for you guys because obviously there is a trading session. I think it's a half day on the US markets as well. Um, now I've got this up. It looks like the index is bouncing a little. Um, now in regards to trade ideas for the ASX. So this is what we'll do. End of week update, trade ideas for the, for the ASX. This actually has been made clear to me a while ago and I did disregard it and this is probably going to be something that I get into um, sooner rather than later. Sorry guys, I'm just I mean, a big day, big day today. All right. Yeah, so bed makers is something interesting. Still see a lot of potential on this one as well. We go to the weekly chart. So we used to trade. Actually, no, it is at all-time highs, isn't it? That's the range. Oh, look at the 52-week range. She ate eight cents to 70 cents. Boy, man, crazy. So, you know, there's a lot of potential in these plays, but, you know, things do happen. So I'm kind of, you know, I'd love to see a little bit of it come back. You know, this would probably be a two and a half thousand dollar entry initially as well. All right. Okay, guys, that is the update. Thanks for watching and bye for now.